So here's something new I found in Mac OS X Sierra having to do with security preferences that are different than a previous version of the OS. And I thought this was helpful because um, I've, I've run into it a couple times and I know what the issue is and how to get around it, but others might not. So um, the Mac has a, a feature under security and privacy under general down below here. These settings have to do with something called gatekeeper. And this helps you uh, or, and prevents you from possibly opening up software that might be malware. Um, and the way it works is um, there's a couple options and there used to be three. First one is that uh, allow any app to be launched if it's from the App Store. So that's from Apple's App Store. Um, allow it to be launched if it's from the App Store and identify developers. And what that means is it's not sold through the App Store, but it's signed as an Apple developer. So the developer uh, signs the application um, and when once it's signed, uh, Apple knows that it's from an identified developer and allows you to open it. There used to be a third option that said uh, open any application and they removed that uh, in Sierra. It's probably a good idea, but it might mean that you run into a couple of situations, especially with older apps that uh, weren't signed, you know, before they built um, the gatekeeper feature or from apps that are from, I don't know, small developers that don't sign their apps. Maybe they're, um, you know, internal builds of apps. And I'll show you an example of that where, uh, you know, a developer is building apps for them to test out maybe a beta version that's not signed. So um, you only want to do this when you're comfortable with the app and where you got it from and the developer. So for example, here's a, uh, an app um, that's an old version of software that, uh, that our company builds. Uh, it's called Account Edge. And this older version was uh, released before Gatekeeper was available. So when I go to launch this version, I'm going to get a message that comes up from Gatekeeper that says it can't be opened because it's not, uh, it's not an identified uh, developer. You know, it's not from the App Store. Cannot be confirmed. So once you do that, doesn't give you much help in terms of what to do next, but if you go to security and privacy, you'll see down here this message comes up that says, I just tried to open this app and you want to open it anyway. If you click open anyway, from that point forward, the application will be launched without any checking. You know, it's because it's you overwrote that uh, setting, right? Now, you could do that or you can also right mouse click and choose open. And when you do that, you'll get a dialog that asks you what you want to do. And it warns you that this is from a developer that hasn't been identified because the apps hasn't been signed. And do you want to open it anyway? And if I choose open, it'll launch the app. And now it's going to remember uh, that for next time. So if I quit and we launch this again, you can see it's not bringing up that message anymore because it, it's remembering that I uh, clicked to uh, open that application and it stored that, I guess, within Gatekeeper. So that is something that I found helpful and I figured I'd share with others that might uh, be in a situation where their app uh, can't be opened just by double clicking on it. And it's not really obvious what you should do in that scenario. So I hope that's helpful.